in a world covered by endless water. People are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this Mother Lode, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? Here we go! Mega Man? Mega Man? Mega Man? Can you hear me? Just barely. The transmission is too clear. I got worried because the transmission got cut off suddenly. I'm okay. I think this is the last door. Bot around there somewhere. Can you see it? It looks like a small one. You should be able to take it down with your buster gun. Thank <laughs> you. 
one right there. Like a reaver bot, we were lucky. Thank you. 
music, Mega Man. I'm picking up strong energy reading. Is it some kind of barrier? Is there a switch for the barrier anywhere close by? Don't give up. It's got to be around somewhere. Mega Man, I'm picking up a Reaver Bot. He's above you. Watch out. Mega Man, I'm showing a large blip in front of you. It's probably a Reaver bot. Be careful. Huh? Mega Man, can you hear me? I'm losing you. The transmission's breaking. Whoa? Are you alright? Can you hear me? Look at that sky. A lot to have to say it after being underground for so long. Hmm, I wonder where Roar went. No way. Back for more?
Phew. Nice timing, Roll. Anytime, Mega Man. I'm sorry, Mega Man. I had some engine problems, and... It's okay, Roll. But I'm glad you showed up when you did. All's well that ends well, right? And we were able to get a refractor. We should be able to get by with that for a while. If only the mother load were as easy to find as this. Don't worry. We'll find it someday. And your parents, too. Thanks. I know we will. Oh, the engine's overheating. The smoke's so thick I can barely see. What? I guess the flutter's in worse shape than I thought. Oh, the number five feeders are going crazy. She can't take much more of this. Gramps, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadlock about a hundred miles southwest. Good! Check! looks pretty bad. I don't think it'll be safe to set foot in here for quite a while. We've been pushing her so hard. Haven't been taking good enough care of her. We'll just have to fix her up. Looks like the repairs aren't going to be finished anytime soon. We'll be here for a while, I guess. This island. What do you call it, Mega Man? Cattle locks? Must have a town or a city somewhere. Think you could go take a look around? Thank you. 
Mega Man! The police saw us crash land and came to check up on us. Well, you certainly put on quite a show. But it looks like everyone's all right. Let me welcome you to Camelox Island. Now, I'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station. We need you to fill out some immigration forms so you can get your registration and ID card. You can't enter the city without one. Don't worry. It won't take very long. While you're waiting, you can spend your time in the shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor?
Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh. If you can't find any parts in town, I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. There you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Now you'll be able to use the city gates. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, but... Why's that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well, I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful.
Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at?